Hi friends! This week we're still talking about insects and I have a song I want to do before I do our story today. This song shows how uh, a butterfly happens. It starts with an egg, then it goes to a caterpillar, then it goes to a chrysalis, and then it goes to a butterfly. So here's how this goes. And you can use your hand. First comes the tiny egg, tiny egg, tiny egg. First comes the tiny egg, then hatch. Good. Now make the caterpillar. Next comes the caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar. Next comes the caterpillar, then yawn. Oh. Now the chrysalis. Next comes the chrysalis, chrysalis, chrysalis. Next comes the chrysalis, then, wow. And now, this is how you make a butterfly. It's a little tricky. Turn your hands, cross them, and get your thumbs together. That makes a butterfly. So we catch our thumbs together, and we're backwards so that the inside of your hands is towards your face. Now make a butterfly. Out comes the butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Out comes the butterfly, fly away. He's going away. Very good. I love that song. That's kind of a fun song to do. Now today I'm going to do a story about a butterfly. And actually it starts with a caterpillar. It actually starts with an egg, but I'm not going to read this book. This is kind of funny. I am going to use some props that I have to tell the story. And so, I don't have an egg, but that's how this story starts, with an egg. But what I will do is show you... Let me see. I'll show you the egg in the book. Lots of you know this book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, because it's a very popular book. So here's a picture of a leaf with a tiny, oh, i got to hold it this way, with a tiny egg. That little white dot is a tiny egg. And look at the moon. It has a smiley face. All right. So first I'm going to tell it with my props. Then I can show you the pictures in the book. This is my caterpillar. Hi. Say hi, caterpillar. Hi, caterpillar. Okay. In the light of the moon, a tiny egg popped. A tiny caterpillar popped out of an egg and started eating. He was so hungry. He was so hungry that on Monday, he ate through one apple. You, you have to help me do the eating sound. Good job. But he was still hungry. So on Tuesday, he ate through two pears. Maybe I'll move that up just a little there. Two pears. But guess what? He was still hungry. So on Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Mm, I love plums. One. Two. Three plums. But guess what? He was still hungry. So, Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, and four. But guess what? He was still hungry. Yeah. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On Friday, he ate through four oranges. One, 
two, oh, five oranges, because he did four strawberries, didn't he? Here's three. Here's four. Here's five. And you won't even believe what he ate on Saturday. He ate through one slice of chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. One ice cream cone. One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of bologna. One lollipop. One slice of blueberry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. And then he wasn't hungry anymore, but look, he wasn't little anymore either, was he? Then he did what caterpillars do, and he made a little house. I'll see if I can do this with one hand. Sometimes I can. Sometimes it's hard. He made a house called a chrysalis. We sang about that in our song, didn't we? I'm going to keep making this house. There we go. And he had to stay in this house for two weeks. That's 14 days. That's a long time. And guess what? A surprise happened, because when he came out, he was a beautiful butterfly. And this, I want to show you, this butterfly is called a finger puppet. It fits on your finger, so I'm going to put my finger in. And then when I go up and down, the beautiful wings flutter. That's one of the cool things about caterpillars, that they turn into butterflies. That's so exciting, isn't it? Now, I'm going to show you the book, and we can look at some of the pages and see. I might have shortened the words a little bit, and that's okay. When you're telling a story over again, Sometimes you don't tell it exactly the same way. But, you know, that happens with other things, too. Like, have you ever noticed that sometimes people sing songs one way and other people sing it another way? Or they play games. One example would be duck. We, in Minnesota, lots of us say we want to play duck, duck, gray duck. But in Wisconsin and Iowa, lots of people say we want to play duck, duck, goose. And it's the very same game. They just call it different. So here's the hungry caterpillar. He's cute, isn't he? What I like about this book is that the pages, this is all the holes from him eating. And there's all the things he probably ate. There's the light of the sun. And here's the moon, and there's the egg. Now, every page gets a little different. See, in the sun, in the morning, here comes the little tiny hungry caterpillar. He looked for food, and on Monday, he got one apple. Now, here's the funny part. It's a little tiny page. Tuesday, he did one, two pears. Wednesday, he did one, two, three plums. Thursday, he did one, two, three, four strawberries, and that page is getting bigger. Friday, he did one, two, three, four, five oranges. And Saturday, he did cake, ice cream pickle, um, Swiss cheese. I said bologna, but it's salami in here. Lollipop, pie, sausage, cupcake, watermelon. Oh, my goodness. And then he ate through a leaf. I forgot to say that part. And then he made his chrysalis. Look how big he is. He's so chubby. Then he made his chrysalis. And then, after two weeks, out came that beautiful butterfly. Well, 
I hope you have a wonderful day today. It's good to see you. Bye-bye.